Today, we will learn how to restart our page numbers. I think you have, you have been through this scenario. You have a page number, you have a table of contents, and you want your page number to start at exactly the first part, which is chapter one. And you want your table of contents and the cover page to be in Roman numeral. Uh, how do you do this? So today we'll find out how to do this and I'll make it very simple and clear. Before we go to that, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button there, and please don't forget to click the ring button so that you'll be updated on the latest uploads in this channel. So in this document, we see that page one is really labeled as page one. So again, we want this to be in Roman numeral and the page one that we intend to be the page one is currently in page four. So if you try to look at this, you see page four in the chapter one part. All you have to do is to tell Microsoft Word that this is another section of your document and the first part is another section of your document so how do you do that so first of all we want the invisible parts of our document to be shown and how do we do that we use this switch here so it's called the show hide uh, toggle switch this is found in the home ribbon here so let's just try to zoom on that and then if we try to look at in the middle part you have this switch here and the purpose of that is to allow you to see the invisible parts such as space the, the parts wherein you have hit enter so let's just try to hit it right so we see here this symbol and it populates the different parts of your document using this switch we will try to tell microsoft word the different parts of the document the next step is to click your cursor in the part wherein you wanted to place a section break so you want this part here the part between the table of contents and chapter one to be your section break so place your cursor there and then click on layout layout it's the one two three four the fourth ribbon here beside design and references look for breaks and there's a drop down menu here it says here mark the point in which one page ends and the next page begins it says column but we are interested in the section break so all we have to do is to click on next page if you want it to be continuous you can click on continuous here but in this case this is a research paper so when we want it in the next page so all you have to do is to click on next page so automatically uh, let's just try to zoom here automatically we see here a section break and then if we look at down we see that uh, this is already transferred to the next page chapter one is already transferred in the next page just to give you a clear idea uh, if Word really understood this, let's try to click on the footer and the header part. So all you have to do is to double click on the footer part. All right. So if we try to click on the footer part, you will see that it is now labeled properly. Okay. So it says here, footer of section one, footer of section one. These were identified by Word as the section one. But if you try to look at here in chapter one part, it says here header of section two. And then in the next pages, it says header of section two. So this only shows that Microsoft Word really understood that this is already the section two part, right? So you are successful in communicating to Microsoft Word, right? So the next thing you're going to do is to insert now your page numbers. So how do you insert your page numbers? Currently, we have already inserted a page number, but we will try to edit. So again, you just double click on the lower part of your document or the upper part so that the footer will, uh, footer section and the header section will appear. Okay. So all you have to do is to go to insert or you can just right click. All you have to do is to go to insert and go to uh look for page numbers so under insert go to page number then you have options here we have templates here that you can follow you want it to be in the upper left uh, lower right bottom of the page page margin whatever you like 
but in this case we want it to be in the bottom part but the section one we want it to be in roman numerals so all you have to do is to go to format page numbers click on that and then we have a drop down menu here we have a roman numeral in small letters here so i want that in my first part and it says here start at number one in roman numeral so i click ok and we try to zoom it's already i right so by the way if you are bothered with these symbols here all you have to do to eliminate that is to click on home again and then click on this and it now disappears right so don't be intimidated by those symbols uh, word is just telling you that there's a space here and commonly it's not really visible to the eye so it's just your means to have things visible for you right so also if we toggle it again you will see that there's a section break here so next page it's telling you that word is now aware that this is already section two and this is section one right. so if you try to look at the page numbers let's just turn this off again it's here it's already number four but in roman numeral the next thing you're going to do uh, we have here the page numbers so the next thing you're going to do is to try to double click on the page numbers here and then this header and footer uh, ribbon will suddenly appear I'll just show you that so it's not there yet but if you try to double click on the footer part and highlight this one the header and footer will appear okay so the next thing you're going to do if this appears you unclick this link to previous button right so it's now not linked to the previous section so all you have to do we can eliminate this one just to show you how to insert it uh, once you delete that um, try to look at this the section one was not deleted so if there are if they were linked then what will happen is that if you delete one of those page numbers it will also delete the the page numbers in section one right so we will try to insert a page number here okay so again we double click on the lower bottom part and then click on insert and then you know where to go page number here in the middle part and then bottom of the page and this time we want it to be in number and plain number three on the lower right portion so we click on that and then we see here the numbers populating All right so if so if it so happens that this is not number one in our case it's already number one all you have to do is to right click on this and then format page numbers and then start at one All right. so you can start at whatever numbers you like right so after doing this don't forget to update your table of contents so this is update table you click on that and then update page numbers only so it will now update to the latest numbers on your table of contents if you are wondering how this table of contents was created all you have to do is to watch our other video wherein we taught the teachers how to generate their own table of contents automatically by using headings. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this helpful, especially if you're creating your own Moodle right now, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video to other teachers too. Thank you so much.